Now we're going to work on trimming the nails with a dog who has a negative association with nail trimming. This dog, we probably won't get his nails trimmed today. And I'm going to know that going into it so that we can feel good about any progress that we make with him. He's pretty nervous even just sitting here. It might partially be the cameras, but he also sees the nail trimmers. So a couple of things that I have ready for him are a few different options for treats. I have some milk bone treats. I have a little bit of pepperoni cut up into small pieces. And I also have tuna, which I know is his favorite. So this is the hierarchy of how I'll be offering them. First, I'll start with the milk bone. If he refuses that, I'll do a pepperoni next. If he refuses that, finally I'll offer tuna. And if he doesn't take the tuna, I know he's really nervous. So knowing what your dog's favorite treats in the whole world are, one that they would accept no matter how nervous they are is going to be uh, beneficial to you in doing a nail trim on a nervous dog. So first I'll show him the nail trimmers. He is sniffing them, maintaining at least as relaxed as he is and his eyes are not dilated or his pupils are not. And he still took a milk bone, the lowest treat on my hierarchy of treats. So in the same way that we did Lucy's nail trim, I'm gonna start by just touching his shoulder still kind of has wary posture but he's relaxed he's not pulling away so I'll try giving him a milk bone as I touch his shoulder next I'll move down to his elbow good still nice and relaxed so I can proceed to the next step his forearm good. and then his wrist and paw good and finally, I'll touch his toes. He pulled away, so I'm going to go back up to the forearm. Okay. And then the wrist and paw. Okay. And now the toes. Good. So we want to make sure he's still the same level of relax when we give him a treat. I'm not holding on to his paw firmly or telling him that this is going to be a painful experience in any way. I'm staying nice and calm and relaxed the whole time so that he stays nice and calm and relaxed. Oh boy. And because he got nervous about me touching his toes, I'm going to do that whole process again. I'm still on my lowest rung of treat, so that's a good place to start. Shoulder, good. Elbow, good. Good. So he's much more relaxed the second time that I did that. I'm not trying to rush this process with him at all because I know he's nervous about it. So I'm going to take the paw and kind of try to touch the toes. He does not like that, so we're going to stay good. And we'll start with the paw again, and now I'm just going to work my way down. Good. And get the upper part of the toes, staying relaxed, not pulling away. Moving my way down, he's pulling a little bit, so I'm going to go back up. Going down to the toes. And now I'm near the nail, and he's not pulling, so that's good. So I'm going to switch my hands here. Good. Now I'm going to try to bring the the nail trimmer to the toe but I'm not planning on cutting at all. A lot of times these nervous dogs are just nervous about seeing the trimmer near their nail. It also makes a little bit of a noise as it cuts so that's going to be something to work on too. So we'll start back up here. Okay. Move my hand to the toes. And we just have the nail trimmers next to his foot now. I still have not worked up to a higher value reward, but I'm going to think about it because that may make him not pull away as much. So I bring the nail trimmers to the toes. Bring them over. He's still pulling a little bit. We're going to go back to the upper paw. Bring my hand down. Touching one toe because I would need to do that to trim the nail. Bringing the nail trimmers. 
Good, he's not pulling. The higher value reward is working. Now I'm gonna bring it closer to the tip of the nail. He pulled a little bit. But see how the higher value reward got us a little bit farther that time. So I'm gonna up the ante one more time to the tuna, because I know this is his favorite treat. We'll start up at the wrist, good. Let him know what I've got. To the paw, good. Down to the toes, good. Lucy wants the tuna too in the back. <laughs> now we're at the nail. Bringing the nail trimmer over, good. We're breaking this down into baby steps for him. Pulling a little bit, so we'll go back up to the paw. See what I mean? We may not get the nails trimmed today, but that's okay. We're just working on these baby steps so that eventually we'll be able to get there. We'll go back up to the paw, good. Okay. He's not quite as worried about everything with the tuna involved. Okay. He still pulls when I get the nail trimmer close to him. So we want to always end on a positive note. So I'm going to say this training session is just about done, but I'm going to hold the paw. I'm only going to go to the plate, the last place that he was the least amount of nervous, which was right down here at the toes. Good. So we're gonna do short training sessions and always end on a positive note. And so that's it for today. He did a great job. And next time we might be able to trim a, a nail or two. This whole process, if we work on short sessions every day, five, six minutes a day, and work on it in that length of a short session, we should be able to trim all of his nails within the next week or two.